All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Halo Achievement Get series. Uh, last last episode, we got uh, Fear of the Pink Mess, and we're gonna hopefully get the Iron Achievement, Gorilla, and the other one, which I cannot think of the name of right now. Uh, as you can tell, we're at the campaign menu because you can't do campaign scoring unless you start a new one, which I didn't remember. So we have to start again. We're going to go on Heroic just because Legendary was punishing us. And I'd rather not die as much as I did last episode. And hopefully get through one of these in a video. So let us just begin and hope for the best, really. Ugh. So first off, I'm going to say that like it's... Squad, my I'm a little sick right now. I think I'm getting strep throat. So my throat is like straight up and out. And, uh, so it's a little, the commentary is going to be a little bit less just because I'm trying to save my voice without losing it. Bravo team, this so, is yeah. Ball back to the um, but yeah, so we're, we're on a road just because Legendary was punishing us and it literally was just like destroying us. And if I have to do campaign scoring and do it all in one video, like it's easier just to do it on Heroic probably be made fun of a little bit than just like keep dying and losing like 2,000 points of death and not getting a video done in a reasonable amount of time so yeah that is what it is so unfortunately we had to restart the level which is you know it's whatever I can restart it and not have to worry too much because you know these levels are pretty they're pretty forgiving I'm not gonna say they're 100% forgiving because they aren't they will wreck your day but like even on heroic as you guys can probably tell like it's easier because a brute shot isn't killing me in one shot am i really stuck there we go a brute shot isn't killing me in one shot a like grunt plasma bolt isn't as terrible as it was like things are better on legendary or heroic just because it's a little bit easier and I can do things a little bit faster so like normal we're gonna go back to the tried and true plasma pistol or regular pistol I'd rather have a carbine but you know whatever uh, equation I'd rather have a rifle of kind okay so we can kind of focus on the brute right now because we took out that turret and brute down drop him all of his friends die. Wave done. Phantom eating me up. So yeah, we're gonna try and do this a little bit quicker than we did last episode. And you know, hopefully get through it without without dying too much. Really would be the thing. So we're gonna try and get that headshot honcho achievement. That thing is unforgiving because it's uh it it's one of its requirements is that I was just reading like, oh, kill 10 enemies with headshots. Cool. No, you gotta kill them without dying. And on Legendary, it's not impossible, but it is very hard to do. So we're just gonna line them up and drop them, hopefully. And like I said, these brutes aren't all gold armor brutes, so they're not like the special brutes. They're just brutes. So it's easier. It, it just is easier, I guess, is the main thing I'm trying to stress. He's stuck, I think. Nope, just barely. And yeah, so it's like it's easier to uh, navigate this when you're just playing, I guess. These grunts don't like to get... Okay, so there's the first uh, annoying thing that happens sometimes is my marines, you'll probably, I'm probably going to kill them just because it's easier, but uh, they will get overzealous and throw their grenades, and in the process they will kill me with their own grenades, because they're terribly, they're, they're just terrible, I hate my marines. Like I get they're supposed to help me, but in the end they just hinder me so, so much. So yeah, like I said, I'll probably end up killing my marines by the end of here. I'm actually gonna try and take one out. 
because he's not helping me in any way. He's literally just getting in my way. So we're gonna take him out. I will take a hundred point hit from it because you know you're not supposed to kill your teammates, but it is whatever. If it means that I instead of losing like losing a hundred instead of losing like two hundred, I'll take it. Same with this guy, I'm gonna take him out. Maybe. There we go. Like I said, they literally just they hinder you. I gotta be careful though because the arbiter may uh whatchamacallit may get mad at me. Like that. Okay. Well then. I don't understand why the Arbiter gets mad at me. Okay, we're not going to kill this guy just because I don't feel like having the Arbiter mad at me. It's just one of those things. I don't understand why he gets mad at me. It's not like they're his Marines. They're my Marines, technically. But whatever. It is what it is. Uh, so we're going to try and just... We're not going to let him go to sleep. <laughs> we're just going to kill him. Uh, I wanted to keep the Magnum, but I won't. Jackals, where are the jackals? Where are the jackals? Alright. There's one. Wow. Oh, I thought that brute literally already had his armor off. I was gonna say my guys are doing good, but they they don't. So I know as far as like aiming you guys are like, oh point your carbine at the with the um, dot in the middle and it's just like yeah that's awesome sometimes that does not kill him though so it is what it is we will just kind of slowly and patiently make our way up this is another thing I want to do get those boxes out of my way because they will be in my way in a second oh that brute so yeah, we're still just plugging along. Like I said, this is more of a rinse and repeat thing. Just kind of taking cover. I'm stuck on a tree, which is really annoying. Literally, my marine almost killed me there. Because I was stuck on him, not a tree. That's why I like to kill my marines, but apparently the Arbiter has a problem with that, so we're just gonna let it be. They're on the run. Hopefully we, if we just keep plugging along, getting those headshots, we can hopefully get that headshot honcho achievement. Like, that one's finicky. Like I said, it's literally 10 in a row without dying, which isn't impossible, but it's annoying. We're just gonna keep on chugging, plinking as many enemies as we possibly can in the head. Okay. So yeah, it's really just, like I said, this is just a rinse and repeat kind of game. It's just like, you just keep doing this, keep fighting along. Bam. I almost just got stuck there by, I think it was a grunt just threw a really good grenade. I'm not 100% sure. Nope, that was a brute. Okay, that's not dead. Now he is. Pelicans are on route, Chief, but I can't raise Bravo. So, yeah, that brute almost just like destroyed me because I wasn't paying attention. That's the other thing, it's just like, you have to pay attention in this game, like, they will punish you for not paying attention. Wow, okay. Cool. Hit the brute in the head, still doesn't die. That happens a lot in this game. Okay, die. Die. 
And I'm pretty sure that I've got more than 10 headshots here. But it is what it is, I guess. Holy crap. Okay, Jack will die. Alright, we're not going to forget about the grunts over here because they will mess me up pretty quickly. I fell. I'm hearing very weird noises in my dorm room and I don't know what they are, so I'm just going to not worry about them and just hope for the best. Alright, we're just going to keep on plugging. Very weird. Unusual noises are unusual. <laughs> so yeah, it's just... Hopefully trying to avoid every single grenade, a grunt will throw, the brute shot. Again, there is a perfect example of my marines just screwing me over in this game. They're just like... They don't know how to... Do it so that they don't, you know get in my way so it's whatever all right so we're I think we're finally back to where we were ah yep court on a moment you sacrifice me to complete your mission always try and play the floor as lava die? there and it usually works but sometimes doesn't uh. Ugh. It's Charlie Fox shot so we're doing good we're getting to where we were last time in about half the time we actually have grenades now too which is awesome all right wow okay die okay so finally got a BR now I can start being a little bit more accurate with my shots Yeah, so I, like I said, I guess prefer, as far as how I go, to have a BR, because it's more accurate, and in that sense, it's, it's not more accurate, it's, it fires three bursts, so be, uh, three round bursts, so between my first shot, my second shot, my third shot, like I've got three shots, they'll basically just it's basically just one of them will hit and if they don't that's not good okay we're just gonna forgo them of course it turns boom okay I wish I could kill the Arbiter too but you know apparently you need him Ugh. Dead. Dead. Wow. Wow. Why is he not dying? There we go. Jeez. And I just used all of my battle rifle. Oh my gosh. Basically trying to do that. And we're coming up on Sniper Alley, which is not good. Did I kill him or did the Arbiter kill him? Don't even know. Okay, we are out of ammo, which is not good. Stupid grunt. So we're gonna jump up here, which generally you're not supposed to come up here. It's supposed to be something you look over, but I come up here all the time just because, you know, I'm so sad. Kind of. Oh my gosh, I forget how many brutes there actually are in this section, and that almost got me killed. <laughs> The fact that there, there is an invisible ceiling almost got me killed right there. Okay, RNG based right there is all three of the brutes, two of which came from the next section, are literally right there. And like I said, that's totally RNG based where their movements are. So we are just going to keep on plinking along. This one kind of came back. Granted, there's still two of them. Which is not cool. Okay, 
I'm glad I got him taken out quickly. Oh my gosh. All RNG. Uh, this noob combo literally is what saves us half the time. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh man. Okay, so now we're up on Sniper Alley, which is not cool. Like I said, it's all just kind of it's easy because is there a grunt behind me? I don't even care. Sniper Alley is easy because the positioning of the jackals never changes. They're always in the spots that you see them in here. So I'm going to try and of course stupid grunt I'm going to try and take them out as quickly as possible. Like I said, it's the stuff that never changes. They're always here. Okay. He's down. But I need to make sure I take them out because if I don't, they will wreck me. And I really don't feel like... See, like, that one there. Okay. I just... I had to use my beam rifle there just because I really don't feel like dying to a beam rifle. And my battle rifle wasn't going quick enough. So... It is what it is. I can't remember if he has a beam rifle. Nope, but that back one I think does. Where? Oh, I'm dumb. See, like I said, I remember the positioning of the sniper alley ones, except for I'm dumb. And, wait, no, there wasn't one behind me. Apparently this one just didn't die like I thought it did. Well, now he's dead. It looked like, from the way the shots were coming at me, that the jackal that killed me was behind me. He wasn't. He was up there. Okay. Alright, that's Sniper Alley done, which is good. Because Sniper Alley, never fun. Well, almost done. Alright. So, oh my gosh. Alright, so we're moving on to the, uh, close to the final part. Come on, you dumb apes! Yeah, this is... Well, breakfast, you gotta catch him. Finding, uh, Johnson's Crash Pelican. Trying to push that jackal out is annoying. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay. We're going to try and do a grenade jump here so I can... Oh, I didn't hit it. Oh, well. You can grenade jump there and uh, skip hitting the ground here. Because there's just a lot of enemies and it's easier to skip than to try and hit them all. As you can tell by this jackal, as being very annoying. Okay. That jackal is super annoying. 